Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and I'm very excited because today is the day that we've been waiting for for six months. Today we're going to have the biggest unboxing here on this channel. In fact, today we're going to have a maximal unboxing. Today we're going to unbox my half a flat max. Two. Oh, God. I, you, you cannot believe it. I've been waiting such a long, long time. For those of you that don't know what Cafetech is, just quickly, it's a, a company that is based in USA and they do those kind of a boutique style production of, of grinders. Because of that, because of the small volume the sm they produce in a small batches, you have to wait six, seven months for your orders. And interesting thing is that every now and then they keep upgrading those, those grinders. So what you are ordering might not be exactly what you will get. So I order order MC4 but it arrived as a MC5 and it happened again with flat max I order flat max and by the time it arrived it's already flat max too so I'm twice lucky yeah. so what's so special about this grind I mean it's heavy it weights almost 15 kg it has brushless geared DC motor rated for 40,000 hours that grinder can outlive yourself maybe even your grandchildren will be using this grinder yeah. the motor itself is made in Japan most of of the components to this grinder are made by Cafetech. The burrs 98 millimeters, they call them Shuri Ken. They are alpha coated, so special coating uh, on top that prolongs the longevity of the burrs. When you order this uh, Cafetech Flat Max, you have choice of few different burrs. The difference between Max and Max 2 is that they also put that a pre-breaker in this grinder, something similar to a uh, Cafetech MC5. So there you've got that pancake uh, conical burr on top that uh, crushes the beans and feeds them slowly into the main burrs. Dennis from Cafetech mentioned that we should not really open that grinder because it's difficult to assemble it again. It will be tricky to uh, clean that grinder. What are we going to do today? Obviously we will unbox it. I will show you the grinder, show you how it works. We will pull some shots. By the end I will tell you why I went for this grinder, not other grinders. And also I might mention something about the next high-end grinder, so definitely stay tuned. And if you're as excited as myself, click like, subscribe, and well, let's do it. It comes in the exactly same box as Cafetech MC5. And inside that box, we get a plug. This is the UK plug. You get a bag of coffee. They also use this particular coffee to test your grinder. I will come back to that later. You get some accessories. Now, <laughs> the last time that was the biggest disappointment. We have a WDT tool. Very nice tool to have. Bottle for uh, RDT. And yes, RDT is essential with this grinder. Grinder, you get what they call it a Mr. Puffer. You use it to put on top of the grinder as a blower. You get that collar, but I don't like it. The way it sits inside Porta filter, I prefer something like that. And this one sits on top. And we have pierce door resistance. That's the high end dosing cap. Yes, we still have that shitty plasticky dosing cap, which I actually use every day. Why they cannot give us like a proper cap? At least put the logo on the bottom so it looks kind of like a part of the grinder not like a part of something I could get from the one punch shop. As you can see it is well packed well protected. I noticed there is one more box there to open. I think I know what's inside. Yeah that's the magnetically attached chute. And we also get this. Each grinder has been tested against the benchmark that they have uh, in the factory and it has to satisfy them before they send it to yourself. And uh, they also give you the exact recipe they use to test this grinder and we're going to repeat that test today. They used Cremina profile. Uh, I don't like Cremina profile uh, on this end. I will use Londinium. 18 grams of coffee in, 61 grams of liquid out. We're going to repeat that test, but before that, just have a look at the grinder itself. <music> to get used to those those squarish edges and everything here. The interesting thing and one of the differences between the uh, MC5 and this one, uh, on the posterior you've got that extra uh, cable that you have to connect with the base. Base is big and thick. Here you control the RPMs. I set it at 350. Here you've got that nice glowing light. I wasn't sure if I get any light to be honest because on the website you have to pay extra for the lights. So I guess every grinder as a standard 
that comes with the green light but then you can upgrade to the different colors so very very quiet without beans now the beans in and also quiet and it took around 15 seconds to grind that 18 grams of coffee on a setting number six manufacturer promise at some point zero retention but obviously at the beginning that's what you would expect took 45 seconds looks very nice they quoted 49 seconds but with slightly different profiles so i think that's a spot on it always impressed me that when they quote the numbers and you can repeat the shot and you get very similar if not the same numbers so guys first shot from my cafe tech max 2 drum rolls please cheers it's a nice open flavor. All the notes are sharper, that's what we would expect. Not sharp to the point that they would be uh, painful. No unpleasant flavors. Coffee nicely develops on your tongue. Uh, the body rather thin, but not to the point where you would say that you are missing something. Hint of blueberries, yes. There is some sourness, but I wouldn't call it a strawberries. Cherry, I don't taste at all. I was expecting more like a tsunami of flavors, but uh, I'm getting a very good cup. It's just for that kind of money I would expect each shot to taste like if I was being kissed by an angel. I know this grinder has a potential. I was expecting more like a wow factor. Let's quickly test the refractometer. Guys, so here we have it. Here we have it. My setup is now complete. I have Cafetech MC5 and I have Cafetech Flat Max 2. I don't know why, but the more I look at that, the more it reminds me of R2D2. Maybe I watched too many Star Wars movies. I pulled a few more shots since the last one that you've seen and I've noticed few things i mean i still cannot detect those flavor notes uh, maybe i have to try with different coffee meth maybe with different recipe but i definitely love the grind that the the workflow everything works well even the look i mean it get used to the look you can get different color options but i refuse i refuse to pay extra and so much more for black top or red top or whatever it should be included in a price or it should cost just a few pennies not hundreds of dollars the shots themselves i've noticed something very similar to a cafe tech mc5 and i think it's all about that pre-breaker it's too early to say but it looks like the harsh notes from both sides of the spectrum are removed i was hoping for that grinder that gives me those sharp clinical notes that i will be able to uh, experiment and to look for those nuances it looks like this one might clean up the flavors those are kind of my speculations after what two or three shots so it's too early to say i promised you answer to a few questions so why i went for this one not for all the high-end grinders well i was so impressed with mc5 that i've decided to follow that line i was looking for something that complement mc5 which is kind of a nice old medium tones also depth nice body but i was looking for something with some sharpness in the taste another reason that i went for this grinder well i i run a youtube channel as famous as i am i'm not on the top of the fame so i'm looking for something that it's not widely available with the hope that it will bring uh, interest i will create some interest i mean everybody got option o grinders eg ones are everywhere on each and every channel cafe tech max 2 you can find but not that many so hopefully that will be good for the channel as well and i also wanted to have two high-end grinders a conical and the flat and to take them as a benchmark when we're going to compare all the grinders with a little bit of hope maybe we can get some sponsors here i will try as much as i can to buy some cheaper grinders but i cannot afford much so I will judge all those other grinders against this benchmark here. I promised you another high-end grinder and I will keep the promise. Yes, another high-end grinder is coming. I don't know what it will be, but it is definitely coming. There is only one condition. I have to get to 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> uh, if it happens next month, you know, I will get another high-end grinder. So if you're undecided, just click that button. Or if you don't like the channel, but if you want to upset my wife, well, if that does not motivate you, then I don't know what. Now in the comments tell me if you have any of the high-end grinders what do you have and what do you think about them or tell me what would be your dream setup. Plenty more things coming but for today thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!